So can we talk about something? So y'all, I saw something on Twitter and it's set in my mind. It's no longer a viral conversation, but I still wanted to present it to you guys because sometimes when I have my reaction to things, I think, am I alone in this feeling? Because this is really weird and I feel like I'm alone in my feeling here. So let me show you guys something that I saw on social media that just made me feel many, many types of ways. So I saw this white woman post on Twitter, <laughs> this picture of herself wearing a shirt that says, stolen black breast milk built this nation. And she captioned it with happy women's history mom. Bitch, what the fuck? Like, oh my, I, I saw this and I was, I was honestly like, where were the thoughts? Where were the thoughts, you know, and, <laughs> The problem I have with this conversation is this, and this is where I want you guys to help me. So here's the thing. We've had so many conversations on this channel and on many other platforms about allyship. And I want for my white friends to be able to speak up about injustice. I think that is something people who are invested in a better future for everyone will just simply do. I think speaking about racism is really fucking important. And the reality is a lot of us in this country are taught this very sort of patriotic version of history that has a really, really sneaky way of completely erasing a lot of the darker sides of what it meant to be a person of color in this country. And so I understand the sort of reasoning behind this post, I understand what she's trying to do. She's trying to draw attention to an often not discussed topic of black women who during slavery time use their bodies to rear up white children who she is crediting as the builders of the country, but we will not unpack that here. Where is she wearing this? Do you know what I mean? Like where the fuck is she wearing the shirt that says stolen black breast milk built this nation? around black folks? Uh, that's real cringe to me. The reason I ask who this is for is because personally, I just have this inherent discomfort with these shirts with an overt political message on them. I understand what they're trying to do, I get it. But for me, it's always just kind of cringe because it's just, you're preaching on your t-shirt and sometimes that makes sense, but a lot of times it doesn't in my opinion. But you know, that's just, that's just me, that's, that's just me. But I just feel like, the only people she's wearing this t-shirt around are other white people. Probably in the most gentrified, lefty liberal part of the country, right? Where I guess this feels like a normal thing to do, but I guarantee you if she wore that shirt in front of black folks, it would be a really strange out of place thing. Here's my thing. It's easy to wear the t-shirt. It's easy to make the social media post. What context you would have this conversation in, but like, I would prefer you to have a conversation with with your white friends and family. Like, can you do that instead? I get the impression that she wouldn't she wouldn't wear this in front of her racist family. I might be wrong. Listen, I'm not white. I I I don't know what that experience is. Never been that. Um, don't have that emotion, but I don't know. It just, to me, it just seems like a weird thing to do. There's a lot of people who do this thing where they're like performing activism, but whether or not that activism actually properly addresses the people they're claiming to help, who cares? She's wearing a shirt that's got a message about black people. It, that's the vibe it gives. And it's again, what? who is it for? Because I promise you, if she went to a predominantly black space, it would be really weird, ma'am. Ma'am, what are you, what are you wearing? And I love the idea of just like imagining her being like, yeah, I'm invited to the fucking cookout. I'm invited to the fucking cookout. And her just showing up in this shirt and people being like, who the fuck invited her? You're just wearing this shirt that's like a reminder of trauma. Really fucked up intense trauma too. Like this act very much so prevented black women from properly raising their children. Because what happened during slavery is that oftentimes when these slaves would breastfeed children, 
they would not even be able to feed their own. So oftentimes the breast milk was only given to the white child. It's a pretty serious fucking thing. It's not really a conversation starter. And also black people already know this. So who is this for? I don't think that anyone is asking for a white, white person to walk around with a literal recitation of trauma on their t-shirt. Black pe people probably generally don't need to be reminded. I guess white people might. I don't want it. Do you want it? Black women in the audience, do you want this? Uh, do you want this? Because I don't know who, who, who asked for this. This, this, is, this is certainly not what I ordered. I will be calling Uber Eats right now for my full refund. Who asked for this? She really was not receptive to black women who were calling her out saying that this is not a good thing. A lot of black women on Twitter were like, girl, why are you doing this? Please stop doing this. We didn't ask for this. And she responded with like these fucking pictures of black slaves feeding white children. And it was so condescending too. It was as though these black women who were saying, please don't do this were just completely unaware. They've never heard that. Didn't know about it before you said it. Like it was just so condescending. And I just, it's weird. You know, sometimes people, they discover new information and the way that they act, the way that they act is like, it's new to everyone. Like baby, some of us have been invested in this conversation all of our life because we've had to be, you know what I mean? Some of us have been talking about this forever because we quite literally cannot exist in this country or in this society generally without understanding that our race is gonna make our life a bit different. When I look at a shirt like this, I cannot imagine how it's helping black women. I can't, especially since it reduces black women to <laughs> Breast milk, right? Breast milk that fed white people, <laughs> you know? Who are we talking about building this nation? White people? The, the white sons of, of, and daughters of slave owners. Uh, because that's weird, it's weird. It's just, the optics of it are very strange. And the thing that makes this worse is that apparently this woman is selling these t-shirts. And I have not looked deeply into this. I probably should, but apparently this person is also a TikToker. And I think they got their start calling out COVID stuff, I suppose. And to my understanding, she got into some sort of altercation with another TikToker, a black man. He called her out for performative activism. And apparently in the disagreement that she had with him, she posts his criminal record and everything to like win the argument. Like, again, I haven't looked deeply into this. I've kind of seen some stuff, but maybe it's giving me very much anti-black. It's giving me very much so anti-blackness. You know, that's just very much so the vibe it's giving. And also apparently this woman got married on a plantation. Like, baby, I appreciate that you know this. Let's put it this way, but Nah, <laughs> that's really what I have to say. Nah, 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 nah. It feels so performative. Also, like, and here's my biggest thing, and I and I and I know that this probably isn't the point, but it's so ugly. It's also so fucking ugly. Like, it's also just genuinely a bad design. I get what it, what she's going for. It's very much. <laughs> It's very much so that like hipstery vibe, but like it's ugly. It's ugly and you, you also can't really see it. It's also not very legible. It's a really powerful message written in illegible font, you know? So who is it for? <laughs> who is it for? Is this also, is this an egg? Is it a, is it a piece of fried chicken? Mm, interesting choice. Interesting for you to put a piece of fried chicken on your t-shirt where you're advocating for black people. Just saying, that's a little suspect. I, it's a little sussy, I have to say. Please read the room. Please read the room. Because I promise you, <laughs> I promise you black folks don't need this. I guess really what I wanted to talk to you guys about is like, 
What is this shit for? Because it was part of me that thinks that this white woman is wearing this t-shirt because she, for whatever reason, believes that this is what black people want. This is definitely probably one of the weirder things I've seen on social media. So I'm curious how people feel about this. Where is the line between an ally doing too much and an ally making like a really loud message? What is the line? I think just so frequently people don't, again, think about whether or not the thing they are doing is actually helping the people that they are advocating for. I think that that should be your first thought if you want to be a, ha a hashtag ally. But to be honest with y'all, I'm you know I'm starting to think maybe this ally thing was a mistake. Not because I don't, not because I, I think that that being an ally is a bad thing, but there's really something to be said about the way that this is often enacted. Because I can tell just looking at this this woman's face, she is so satisfied with herself. She is so happy she did this, and she has not even probably vaguely considered the fact that that black folks don't want this. That black women specifically don't want this. And to me, it's just like really worth thinking about that. So yeah. Anyway, like I said, would love to hear what you guys have to say about that. And on that note, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.